Uh, hi, my name is Tom Antos and today I wanted to do a quick tutorial about uh, lighting using the sun and, and a reflector. So it's very quick and very affordable and, and easy. What did I do to make it this far? Looking back at the past, I was coolest. Now I put a lot of thought to my present, not a gift card. Doing what I gotta for my future, keep it moving. Yeah, I do it and I ain't gotta prove it. The only thing that matters to me is I'm improving. Yeah, yeah, I do it. Uh, as an example, I'm gonna show you this music video that I shot. Uh, in Los Angeles for Jay Rice uh, and it's it's a quick project we shot in half a day started I think filming around noon or 1 1 p.m. and we were finished by the time you know the sun was setting uh, on these rooftop shots uh, so with those three main locations we shot on this rooftop we shot also on the Hollywood Hills overlooking all of LA uh, and then the biggest part of the shoot was here around the swimming pool where we, we were just hanging out with you know with these girls and, and a bunch of friends and uh, and you know we just got you know some random shots of, of the girls hanging out and also of Jay Rice performing the song uh, so you know to get a shot like this for example of Jay Rice and then the pool behind them uh, first thing that I usually do is I just sort of experiment by uh, going around the pool. I try the you know basically different angles of, of getting a you know the shot of, of J Rice. Uh, so here in this take, I had the sun to the right side of the camera, and you know as if I just basically would shoot a quick little test. I would look at the shot, and I didn't like how it was sort of producing these really harsh shadows on his face. Uh, so then I would try it, uh, you know, I would move around and I went uh, and I got got it basically with the sun almost directly behind me or behind the camera. Again, I just felt like the sun was a little too high uh, and, and was causing these really long, harsh shadows. So again, I wasn't really too happy with it. Uh, so I ended up going to the opposite side of the pool up here. Uh, as you can see, I'm just kind of testing out the angle. I wanted to get something higher looking down so you can see the pool behind them. And, you know, I like the angle. I, I like the fact that the sun is no longer creating these harsh shadows on his face. And it's also acting sort of as, as a backlight, like an edge light, as you can see on his shoulders and there on, on top, you know, on, on his baseball cap. Uh, so I like the shot. Now, the problem is his face is really underexposed and there's just no definition. There's nothing really, there's no direct light hitting his face. Uh, so, you know, to fix that, I, I basically have to add another light uh, on his face. And since the sunlight itself is so strong, uh, you know, the only way I could really do it uh, without spending a lot of money is using a reflector. You know, another expensive way is to get these really, really big, powerful movie lights. But again, it's just expensive, takes a long time to set up. Uh, so using the reflector, you can just bounce some of the sunlight back onto your subject's face. And this way you can add some definition. Uh, so the, the reflector that I'm using here is, is this larger one that has exchangeable basically uh, surfaces. So it, it's a silver uh, color, also there's a golden color, and then there's just a plain white color. And I also have this other smaller reflector here, which is exactly the same thing, it's just, you know, the size and the shape of it is, is a little bit different. And if you guys wanna find out, you know, where you can get these reflectors and find the best deals, just check out the links in the des description of this video. Uh, so I end up choosing, you know, the bigger one, and I grab the white side first, and I'm just kind of walking around and testing out sort of where I should place the reflector to to get sort of nice definition on the face, but also so that the reflector itself is not visible in the shot. And uh, you know, I end up deciding you know to to put the reflector in, in this position. So I'm just kind of showing my assistant where he's going to hold it. Now this is how the shot now looks with the reflector. So you can see his face is a lot brighter now, and you know, there's just a lot more definition because there's actually a little bit uh, of this sort of a shadow there on the left side versus his right side of the face, you know, is a little bit brighter. It's a very subtle effect, but like I said, it just, when you compare it to what, what, what we had before without any reflectors, it just looks, I think, you know, a, a lot more professional, so especially when you add, uh, you know, some color correction to it, it right away, as you can see, it just, it just lo looks, you know, a, a lot better. But um, another thing is that, you know, this music video is it's, it's all about, you know, the, the title of the song is called Feeling Good. Uh, and uh, if you guys want to see the full finished music video, just again, check the links in the description of this video. Uh, but anyway, so, you know, with the way the sort of the, the, the song is and sort of the vibe that it gives you, I wanted to uh, experiment and maybe bringing a little bit of more warmth colors, especially because the swimming pool, you know, and the water behind there is so kind of bluish looking. I thought it might be a nice thing to try out uh, the golden reflector to add, like I said, that a little bit more warmth to the, the face. Uh, of J-Rise and also this way to add some contrast so we have sort of the warm colors in the foreground and then the sort of cooler water colors in, in the, uh, behind the J-Rise. Uh, so I grab the reflector and I just switch to the golden side and here's how the shot now looks with that, that golden uh, side. Now as you'll notice also it, it, 
it's a lot harsher, it's a stronger effect because it's just, you know, uh, a m much more reflective surface than just a white uh, white reflector. Uh, so, you know, I like the fact that it actually adds even even a more of a stronger shadow here, you can see uh, on the left side of the nose and the left side of the face. But also it creates this really nice sort of warm kind of golden, you know, look on, on, on the face. And I end up getting this kind of a shot. Uh, and then afterwards, I just end up switching the lens on my camera to like a wider, uh, you know, a, a lens, and uh, and you know, we got this angle. So just so I have sort of two different versions that I can cut uh, back and forth between. And you know, this is how the, the the shot looks. And then the final thing is just you know, add some quick color correction. Uh, we also added the white screen bars. And here's how the the final music video looks. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial. Uh, if you want to find the links for where, where you can find these reflectors, or if you want to see the final full finished music video, again, uh, either go to my website at Tom Anto films.com or check out the links uh, below in the description of this video thank you and i'll see you next time uh, also i wanted to quickly uh, let everyone know that i have a new product uh, selling on my website it's a lighting dozen where i show step by step how i set up my, basically my shots the camera settings uh, like everything you know when it comes to aperture the f-stop of the lens the, the shutter speed all that stuff uh, white balance i also show you what lights i use how i place the lights and even you know how i dress up the location all that stuff and I even show you how I do the color grading to get the final results. And that's 12 different lighting setups, almost four hours of, of, of tutorials. And, and as always, I just wanted to say a big thank you to everybody who did purchase the product or some of my previous you know, uh, products, such as the Music Video Film School or, or the Short Film School, uh, because it helps a lot and basically supports what I do here. And it allows me to put out these uh, free tutorials and, and product reviews on my YouTube channel and my website.